So with two-point perspective, we are first going to establish a horizon line. First and foremost, make sure that it is parallel with the top and bottom parts of the paper. Now we need to show that there are two vanishing points because this is exactly what it is, is a two vanishing point. Okay, there's a point there and a point there. Okay, with these two points, they're going to create something which I call the circle of love. I know, it's, it's definitely a circle of love. So you find the middle point, which is about five and a half. Let's just say it's five and a half. It's a little bit less than five and a half. So this is the center point measure here. So it's about five and a half. And I take this dotted line and I create a dotted line here. Okay, so with this dotted line, this is what I call the circle of love. If any box gets close to this circle, like within a half an inch or so, or gets outside of the circle, then the shape really, really distorts. And because of that distortion, it looks really, really funkadelic. So I'll, I'll just show you as an example. We'll build a box right here. Now we just create a vertical line that needs to be parallel with the edge of the paper. We are looking at a corner, so that's how I know it's a two-point perspective. You can see this side of the plane and the left side of the plane. So you're looking at a corner. The edge of this box here, it kind of is residing right on the edge of this circle, just past it. So it is looking pretty extreme. Because of that extremeness, it won't look very natural. It, it'll look really weird and tight and obscured. So, reason why we have those established is to make you have a viewable section within those two vanishing points. So this will be vanishing point one, this will be vanishing point two. So the closer these vanishing points are together, the smaller that circle of love is, which means if you build stuff out here, it will look really like uh, really funky and you know if you're into that go for it but if you want it more natural looking you want to take these two vanishing points and put them off of the page out away from the viewing angle so your circle is bigger than the page that you're actually drawing on so that's what you really want to focus on to be able to have that natural view so I will just continue on with what I have drawn in here just to show you how to build a box in two-point perspective. So once I have that vertical line placed, I can just place another vertical line. Doesn't really matter where. Now I have these two other vertical lines and they will go to the vanishing point. So on this right plane, to find the back side of this box, it doesn't make sense to go to this vanishing point because that line's already going there. You want to go to the opposing vanishing point to make the back side of the box. Same with this left side. You want to go to the right side to find the back side of that box. Okay, now we have a box that is created in two-point perspective. See how we're looking at the leading edge? That is basically it on how to build a box with two-point perspective. You can continue to make this by creating the other shapes and going from one corner to the opposing edge and making a vertical line to clip complete the box and I'll show you that. Okay, so now I have this plane here off to the right, this plane off to the left, this plane that's the top, this plane tucked back in the back right, and this plane in the back left, and this plane on the bottom. Do you see how weird that shape looks? Because it's by the circle of love and so it looks really distorted and thrown out.